Welcome to episode 6, part B of module 5, Heredity. We're finishing off this video series with inquiry question 5. Can population genetic patterns be predicted with any accuracy? Our syllabus reference for this video, we'll look at the use of technologies to determine inheritance patterns in a population, for example, DNA sequencing and profiling. The learning intention for this video will describe technologies used in DNA profiling and DNA sequencing. DNA sequencing is a process of determining the exact order of nucleotides in a DNA molecule. DNA sequencing helps us find single nucleotide information for entire human genomes. Everyone has a unique genetic code, unless they're an identical twin. Modern computer techniques can compare these codes to understand how traits are passed down through generations. Two well-known DNA sequencing techniques are the Maxim-Gilbert and the Sanger method. The Human Genome Project was a worldwide collaborative project that discovered the order of the 13 billion base pairs of the 46 human chromosomes using DNA sequencing techniques. This project was successfully completed in 2003. The use of DNA sequencing has led scientists to discover the precise location of DNA mutations that lead to diseases such as cystic fibrosis and Huntington's disease. It has also been used to develop specific targeted treatments for cancer patients. The following animation by EZ Pips shows the process of the Sanger method of sequencing. Developed in the 1980s, DNA profiling, or DNA fingerprinting, analyzes an individual's DNA and is used for identification by comparing small, specifically selected DNA segments. It's simpler and more selective than whole genome sequencing, 
and is used in forensics and identifying family relationships. DNA profiling focuses on non-coding DNA regions that do not code for proteins. These regions contain repetitive sequences called short tandem repeats, or STRs, and they vary across individuals and create unique DNA fragments when cut with the same restriction enzyme. Restriction enzymes cut DNA as specific sequences, allowing comparison of differences and similarities between individuals based on the variations in their STRs. This helps detect polymorphisms at specific genetic markers in a population. Gel electrophoresis is used to separate the DNA fragments into bands that can be analysed. The following video is an excerpt from the following video is an excerpt from FuseSchool showing the process of DNA profiling involving the use of gel electrophoresis. A cell sample is collected. This could be from some blood at a crime scene or a swab from the inside of someone's cheek, for example. The DNA is then extracted from the sample. Many copies of this DNA may be made using the polymerase chain reaction, or PCR. Special enzymes called restriction endonucleases are used to cut the DNA up into different size pieces. The DNA samples are then put into wells in a special gel called agarose for the process of gel electrophoresis, which separates the DNA fragments by size. The pattern is then transferred to a nylon sheet in southern blotting. And finally, the lines produced by the DNA samples from different people are compared. So let's have a go at using DNA profiles to solve some mysteries. An item was stolen in a burglary. A drop of blood was left behind by the thief. Samples of DNA were taken from four suspects and compared to the sample left at the crime scene. Which suspect is guilty? Here's a clue. Look for the one that is most similar to the one from the crime scene. Pause the video while you decide. Suspect 3 is guilty. Can you see how the pattern of bands matches in suspect 3 and the crime scene? Their DNA is the same.